All right, in this video, I want to add a few more things to our application, and then we can start working on the login functionality. First, I want to add an active state to these links that shows which page we are on using a Next.js navigation. So if we go back to our project and open our layout.jsx, which is our main layout, we want to add a conditional class based on the URL to these links. And first, we need to grab the URL and see what is the path on that URL. For that, we are going to use the path name from Next Navigation. So inside our function, let's create a new variable, and I will call it path name. And we will set this to use path name from Next slash Navigation. Now, you notice here that we are using a hook that is dealing with the client side, and our component is a server component. So if we go back to our website, we get an error because we are using this hook. So on the top of the document, we can say use client to fix that problem. Now we would actually create a component for this, but first I just want to make it work and then we will turn this into a component. So if you go back to our website, the errors are gone. And now we want to use this path name and apply a conditional class to these links. So on this link for the homepage, for example, we can pass curly brackets for the class name and then use backticks. First, we want to apply the nav link regardless of the URL. Then we want to have a statement here. So we use dollar sign curly brackets. And we want to check if the path name is forward slash in this case, then we would apply another class. And the class we want to use is nav dash link dash active. But if that's false, we would add an empty string. So basically nothing. And if I format the code, it looks like this. So again, if the path name that is coming from next navigation is a forward slash, that means we are on the home page. So we want to apply this class to the home link. Going back to our website, we are on the home page. So this stays active. If we go to other pages, then the active state is gone. So now instead of copy pasting this for all these links, let's create a component and then use that in our navigation. So inside the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called components. Then within the components, we will have a nav link.jsx. And in here, we want to have our React component. So let's say export default function. I would call this nav link and we want to return our Next.js link. So let's go back to the layout and I'm going to copy this link or we can cut it, doesn't matter, and paste it here. So of course we need to import a link. So let's retype it, import link from next forward slash link. And then we want to make this reusable. So we need two props. One is the href and one is the label. Let's accept them as props in our nav link component. So using curly brackets, I can say I need a label and an href. Now, instead of this text home, I can use that label. And instead of this href, we want to use the href that is coming from our props. Also here, we don't want to hard code this. We want to say if the path name is the same as href, then apply this active class. So now we have to create this path name. Let's do that again. Let's say const path name we would set this to use path name from next forward slash navigation and we need to invoke that again we are using a client side function here so make sure you add use client at the top of this component and that is our nav link component let's go back to the layout and delete this link and import nav link from our components folder so up here i am importing that and this expects two props. Remember, we said we need a label, and this is going to be for our homepage, and then an href that is going to be forward slash. Let's copy this, paste it for register and dashboard. So we just have to change the label to register, also the href, and same thing for dashboard. So now our navigation is much cleaner and now we can delete this path name since we are not using it here anymore, as well as this import, this link import and the use client, because now we are not using any client side function in this component. Back to our website, our navigation is working. If we go to register, it stays on. Same thing for dashboard and all the other links. So this is working the way we want. Now I want to create a few more components. 
First, I want to extract the whole navigation from our layout. So in the components folder, I will create a new component called navigation. And I'm doing this because we would add more links and logic to our navigation and I don't want to code everything in the layout. In our navigation.jsx, let's export default function and call it navigation. And in here, we just want to return our navigation. So let's say return parentheses, then go back to the layout and cut this navigation or this nav element and paste it here. Make sure you import nav link since now we are using it here. And that's it for now. Let's close this one. Let's close the nav link. And in our layout, we want to import navigation from the components folder. So let's save this and we can delete this import, which we don't need anymore. Back to our website. Everything is still the same. And one last thing I want to do for this video is to add another component for our footer. So let's say footer.jsx and again, export default function footer. And we just want to return a footer, which is just HTML. So I'm just going to paste this. And all I have here is a P tag that says copyright and we get the full year of the current year. Then I have an A tag, which is a traditional A tag because this is going to my YouTube channel and an SVG icon, which is for YouTube. So there's nothing related to Next.js here. Then down here in our layout, we just want to import footer from our components folder like this and back to our website. This is our footer at the bottom of our page. So that's all the extra things I wanted to add before we get into login. Now in the next video, we will start working on our login functionality.